Anything else? While he's thinking, I walk up to Delilah. Wait. Grab her wait. by the clothes. No, wait. Drag her to the side of the wall. And wait. Prop her up and turn to Percy and say, in this. Cassandra? Uh, Cassandra is now stopped and looks at you. <gasps> She clutches the rapier in her hand, and you can see her hand shaking, just the tension of the muscles in her fingers, clenching it as hard as she possibly can as she walks up with each slow, quiet step echoing across the stone. Delilah up against the wall, like blood spilling out the corner of her mouth, <coughs> coughing, conscious with her one you know, missing arm in the side. The blood's beginning to ooze now from the wound as just the sheer force of all the movement has torn the wounds fresh open, and she's there, and she looks over in the corner of her eye and turns seeing the rest of you and sees Cassandra. As this hunter steps up, she holds the rapier at her side, staring down, this time just a single tear crescent down the side of her cheek. Delilah looks up and goes, You could have been my daughter. She looks down at Delilah and says, Cassandra is a Dorola. And you took them away from me. And now we're taking everything away from you. <laughs> and just thrust the rapier forward right into the chest as it hits her. It actually pulls her up about a foot against the wall. The sheer yes. force of the wound. <gasps> Sick. Last breath escaping from the leather's mouth. Her, hand, her arm falls limp to the side. A moment of tension passes, and Cassandra's just still holding her there, her head down, her hair in front of her face, just shaking, keeping her pinned against the wall. I put my hand on her shoulder and gently pull her back. Rapier withdraws, and the body just tumbles to the ground. Okay. Is that doubled? Or did you yeah, double that's, that's doubled. Uh, well, uh, terrible. How do you want to do this? On oh. Oh. Take my second shot. I call. Delilah! Even if we die, it's fucking worth it. <laughs> and I take it right in her good eye. Okay. I want me to be the last thing she sees. Uh, as you, as she turns around, you watch that side of her face just explode. And she falls back, the, the force of it knocking her off her feet, and she scatters across the stonework. It, you glance over and you can see her looking face up and the little green eye in the socket just turns and looks towards you. Wait, it, it's still working? Yep. Well, oh, something. It's just the eye. 47, I didn't have to 47 points of damage with the sharpshooter. Mm. How do you want to do that? Point that, point that finger. <laughs> she was it. reaching out for that dimension door. Oh, oh, oh she, yeah. Yes. Oh, so, fuck. as you see her hand reaching out, and she's, you see their fingers tracing the incantation in the air as, as Silas's hand reaches outstretched for hers. I no, you don't. I point my finger down at her, so I'm about to shoot the arrow. <laughs> And then as it shoots, I just keep pointing at her like, "How's it feel, bitch?" <laughs> as she reaches out, she's reached. She, her eyes are locked with Silas. She's not even paying attention to Grog at this point. All she's focused on is escape. And Grog, as you look down at her, and Silas is looking into her face, reaching out. The air just through like the jaw and out the side of her cheek. There, it just pierces the cheek, just, and the eyes just go cold. In her hand, the, the spell incantation fades, and the hand just twitches, and then falls to the ground still. <laughs> Oh, no! Yes. As that happens, Silas, his hand still reached out, goes, No! Oh, I feel so bad for him. No, you don't. Uh, but at the same time, as I that's hitting, that. yeah. I'm going to say, Oof. Silas! Delilah Briarwood was a bitch. Oof. I'm going to cast. Oof. Blessing of the Dawn Father as a bonus action. Ooh, the Dawn Alrighty. Father. So I light up with the light of day. You now emanating like a sun in a certain radius around you. Wonderfully poetic. How do you want to do that? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, 
you ruin my rehearsal dinner. <laughs> you better be glad this wasn't tomorrow. <laughs> well, you're not going to be glad at all, because I'm going to keep moving forward. As I'm saying it, I'm going to put him in radiant blast as I'm as I shoot him. So as you fire him, each blow, he falls to the ground, and you see his body begin to turn into mist. And right as he like falls on his back and begins to turn into mist, the Slow outer walk. range of Pelor's blessing on you, the Dawn Father's radiant, and you watch him scream as his body just flicks into a hundred pieces of gray ash before it. I got, 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 I